So iOS 16 came out for the iPhone last week. iPad OS 16 will be out most likely in a few weeks from the release date of this video. I'm running a beta version of iPad OS in this video, and I wanted to give you a sneak peek at what you'll be able to do in reminders very soon. In this iPad Power Tips videos, I want to show you how I use my iPad to organize my tasks and be more productive. And for me, that all starts with knowing two things, what I have to do and when I have to do it. And believe it or not, there are a lot of fancy ways to accomplish this. I've read a lot of stuff on productivity and tried a whole lot of apps that promise the moon. I've pretty much ran down every rabbit hole you can imagine, but it doesn't have to be complicated. And thank God I've simplified this process. Hi, my name is Rich. I crank out weekly videos on how to get the most out of your iPhone and iPad. Nearly all of these videos are super basic, just designed to get you started without a lot of fuss. But about a year ago, a number of you asked for videos that were a little more in-depth. And that's why I created the iPad Power Tips series. But even if you just know iPad basics, stick with me on this video. My guess is that many of you will learn something or at a minimum rethink how you plan your day. Years ago, I did all of this on paper, but not anymore. And even though I'm a senior, I still have a lot of things to do. In fact, more stuff than ever. But remember, with this system, there's only two things to know. What you have to do and when you have to do it. So today, I'm going to show you how I use a reminders inbox to capture what I have to do and prioritize it. How I created and pinned weekday lists. How I use the calendar notes and mail app to add tasks to my weekday lists. And lastly, how I allocate tasks from the inbox to the appropriate weekday list. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to do is talk to you about the lists that I've created. As you can see, I've created a list um, for each day of the week, Monday through Saturday. We'll just go ahead and we'll add a list for Sunday. And we'll create the right color. We'll click Done. And now we've created a list. And this is the way Reminders works on the current version of iPad OS. And you typically have some things that are up here at the top as well. You can edit the lists and you can show today and scheduled and flagged. And your app probably looks something like that. With iOS 16, you can tap on those three dots, click on edit lists, and I take those out. And what I do is I move each one of these up to the top by holding and clicking pin. And now I have Monday through Sunday up at the top with a pinned list called all where I can see all my tasks. And if you notice, there's nothing in any one of these lists down here. And all I have down below is an inbox. And that's how I've set my system up so that I have each weekday because again, I need to know what I have to do and when I have to do it and when is always going to fall, you know, on a day. So that's why I've pinned all of these lists. Now, I want to show you how I put things in these lists. And I have a review process um, that I do once a week. And the first thing I do is I go to Reminders and Notes. And if you remember, I had a video on split screen videos. And if you tap on that, you get all of your reminders up on the left. And I've got my Notes app on the right. And in my Notes app, I have something called Focus Areas. And this just tells me the things that I want to work on. And if I have an idea for something in here that uh, jogs my memory, then I go ahead and I create a task for it. So um, I do need to make a doctor's appointment. So I was noticing health. So I'll create a reminder called set up doctor appointment. And now I'm done. And I put that, uh, I put that in here. And I go through this each week and I just write down all the things that I need to do related to these focus areas of my life. 
Then when I'm finished with that, I go over to Reminders and Calendars, and I pull that up, and now I have my calendar on here. And I go through, I see I have nothing today, nothing tomorrow, Saturday. Oh, I've got a cookout that I have to go to. So I notice this is on Saturday, so I go back to my list, and I open up Saturday, and I just drag it over. And that's all there is to it. And now I have on my reminders list my appointment, and you can drag directly from the calendar app into the reminders app, and that's simple. And I just go through each one of my days until I've got all of my appointments for that coming week in reminders. Then when I'm finished with that, I also go to the mail app, and I open that up. And I see I've got a video on here. Can you make a detailed video on Apple Calendar? So I'm going to go back to my inbox and I'm going to add that as a task. And now I've got that on there. And if I had other emails that had other tasks in them, I could bring that up as well. So I've now captured tasks from my notes. I've now ta captured tasks from my calendar, and I've also captured tasks from mail. Now, I want to prioritize those tasks. So I go in here to Reminders, and I tap on this, and I actually bring up two versions of Reminders. And I've got my tasks over here, and I start allocating them to the day of the week where I want them to go. So changing the oil in the truck, I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to give that a priority of high because I really need to do that. Pay bills, I'll give a priority as high because I need to do that. Plan Ohio trip, priority, that's medium, I'm not in a hurry. Check prices on Hickory Wood is low and so forth and I go, on, go through each one and I prioritize them. And now that I've done that and I have everything over there, I'm going to change the oil in my truck on Monday. So I tap on the Monday list and I just drag it over. And I think I'm going to pay bills on Monday too. And then I'm going to go back. And I try not to do more than two or three things each day. I make sure that I can get those two or three things done. And this is a way to do it. I used to have like 20 or 30 things to do in a given day. And of course, I'd only get two or three of those things done. Now I realize that as long as I put the important things done on my list that need to get done and I finish them up, then I'm happy with how the day went. So now I'm going to go to Tuesday and I will plan the Ohio trip. And I'll check on prices of there. And I do need to do some house cleaning. And then I'm going to go to Wednesday. I need to mow the yard on Wednesday. Pull that over there. On Thursday, I'm going to update my software. I'm going to buy movie tickets. I'm going to buy groceries. And then Friday, I'm going to do the rest. And now I've got everything set up. And now I have all of my tasks set up for the coming week. And by the way, when you have these split screens, some of you asked about this in a sp split screen video I made earlier. If you want to get rid of the split screen, all you have to do is go to that little white line and slide over. And so now you have it. So now when I get up, I can tap on Monday and I've got those two, Tuesday. And it's a quick way to just look and see what I've got coming up for the week. It makes it so simple to keep track of your reminders and actually get things done that need to be done without being overwhelmed. And that's how this system works. I know everyone works differently when it comes to task management, but I also know that the easier a system is to use, the more likely you are to use it. And for me, this is about as simple as I can get it without letting things fall through the cracks. I encourage you to think about this and maybe give it a try. If complicated task managers are not your thing, then this workflow might be right for you. All right, that's it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful and gets you to thinking. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.